Welcome to the Yorktown Central School District Board of Education meeting for September 17, 2017. Could we please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence for our armed forces and those in our community who have lost loved ones, especially former teacher Charles Doyle. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. John, it was a hot day, if you recall, August 29th, it was a scorcher, and those children were out there playing. I, my commendation to them when I wrote each one of them a thank you note, I, I certainly recognized the elements that the official were performing. Uh, On August 30th, we had the good fortune of welcoming New York Giants chaplain John Paul Gonzalez, and John Paul Gonzalez was absolutely outstanding in this presentation. He addressed our faculty and staff first, and then he addressed all of our student athletes. And the picture to the left is actually the student athletes, and we had a full auditorium for that presentation. And in front of you, you may notice a poker chip. And what John Paul Gonzalez did during his presentation is the same thing he did with the New York football giants. He gave each person a poker chip and talked about this idea of all-in. He encouraged our students to be all-in for their families, to be all-in for academics, to be all-in for their teammates and their sport. And he challenged them to look at that chip as a constant reminder of what they're all-in for. He encouraged them to leave it in their locker room, leave it at home on, the, on their nightstand or on their bedroom dresser as a memory of what they're all-in for. So what I've actually done is I brought you the same poker chips that were distributed to our students. And I'm going to ask you to do the same. It's the same activity that the New York Football Giants went through. It's the same activity that all of the different groups that John Paul Gonzalez has addressed. And what they do is they put their initials on the poker chip. And so I'm going to ask you, there are markers on the table. I believe there's one there, and this has one as well. You can put your initial. Keep the chip at home, 
keep it in your office, keep it in your purse, wherever you'd like to have the chip as a reminder of what you're all in for. And so all of our students have that chip, and interestingly enough, I shared this in my most recent update to the community, our high school football team is taking this all-in idea to another level. They all put their chips in the middle of the circle. They gather around the circle and select one other person's chip, and during that week, their job is to just be a good friend to that person, to encourage them when they're down, to sit with them when they're sitting alone, and to just be kind. So I really applaud the efforts of our high school football team and so many of the other sports have taken this and as you walk on the sidelines, you'll hear the team uh, huddle chant, they'll break the huddle with the words all in, or you'll see signs in the stand saying all in. In fact, I, it's, I don't wanna let the secret out, but I understand that one of our classes for Spirit Week has written all in on the back of their shirts. So this movement has really taken hold. And with the faculty and staff, we talked about being all in for children, being all in for their families, being all in for this idea of esteem. So it was a wonderful, wonderful day with John Paul Gonzalez. On September 4th, we welcomed back our K-9 students, and September 5th, all students returned. It was a wonderful opening. It was warm. It certainly was warm. I won't mince words about that. And the steering committee and I will be looking at some ideas that we can discuss, because the heat will return at some point again. I, I, I'm not a fortune teller, but I have a feeling that it will get hot again soon. There are some wonderful pictures of the children getting off of the bus. There are some wonderful images that I have in my memory of children just happy to be at school and, and, wel and welcoming the opportunity to be back with their friends and with their teachers. Now, it's a lot of work to get a school district ready to open. We close out one school year over the summer and we open up a whole other school year in the fall. And it takes a whole team to make that happen. So first, Tom and Lisa, our two assistant superintendents, have been remarkable. Their leadership is just unparalleled, and I'm so blessed to have to be on a team with Tom and Lisa. It's just absolutely wonderful. And my Monday afternoon cabinet, and you all know who you are, the directors and uh, administrators there, put so much into their departments. As we send emails, at all hours of the night over the summer, you'd think, gee, you're not supposed to be responding this quickly. You, you should be enjoying the time. But they're all in, and they're all in for their departments. They're all in for our students, and I, I just thank them so much. Our administrators are here over the summer working. Our nurses are here. The teachers in the ESY program, teachers who are serving on interview committees are, are here at work. It's such a remarkable team effort. The clerical employees who are here in the district and all of the unsung heroes, namely our custodians, who were in the buildings. And I actually honored the custodians and the clerical employees during our opening day celebration. So just a few updates. Personnel, we had a lot of new hires. There, were, there was a lot of movement. There were retirees. There were people who moved on to other positions. And so there's a building by building and departmental accounting of each of the new hires. The vast majority of hiring has been completed. We've had a couple of positions that remain open, but we're in the process of wrapping those up. Facilities, Dennis and his team, Dennis, Marty, and Diego have done such a wonderful job in making sure that our facilities reflect the education that our children are receiving within its walls. We did some great work with regard to advancing some of these instructional spaces to match our ESTEAM initiative. We did some wonderful work from a safety and security standpoint where uh, we cleared a lot of brush and a lot of trees in the tree, uh, to the commuter lot, creating great sight lines and security cameras are next. And we've done so many other wonderful projects at Brookside Parking Lot. It's one that we're really proud of. All of the, uh, the mulching, the beautifying of our campuses just so that our students can have a learning environment that is commensurate to what their expectations are in the classroom. Now, last year I showed you this slide. And this slide was just an amorphous concept at the time. We talked about this idea of empathy being the foundation for our work in STEAM. And it's so hard to believe that it's only been one year and we've been able to make the splash in STEAM that we've made. So STEAM went from this a year ago to this today. 
and that's thanks to now Yorktown senior Ryan Serafin, who won our logo design contest. And eSteam has been featured in so many places. And eSteam is what drives our vision, or our vision is what drives eSteam. And here's a list of some of the things we've done just in year one. We've done so many wonderful things in robotics. We've established an identity in the first LEGO League competition. Makey Makey has been remarkable for so many of our students, especially at Crom Pond. And I can go down in the list, and so much more has taken place. And so it's hard to believe that this concept is, is a year old, but all, although a lot of this work had begun prior to last year. But we, these are some of the things that were new for this past school year. Also, on October 27th, I believe that's the Saturday in October, that we're going to be headed to New York City to present at the at New York State School Boards Association Annual Convention. It's an exciting thing for us. I share with you this image because Mr. De Pasquale and I will be presenting in Manhattan on this concept of e steam that has really garnered a lot of attention around the state. So Chris, if you recall, last year we did a good news where he brought in that dirty brown water from the pond out front. He ran it through the filtration system and the students ran it through the filtration system and Mrs. Horowitz took a sip of the water. I asked Mrs. Horowitz to be in attendance in New York City because I will not drink the water. So uh, Mrs. Horowitz, I believe, is going to be joining us in New York City and she'll be sampling the water for the third or fourth time now. So East Dean has been a wonderful, wonderful cornerstone for us to build and what we did at opening day is we laid out a pathway forward. We wanted to, my cabinet and I wanted to demonstrate a very clear vision to our faculty and staff and then ultimately to our students for eSteam and our pathway forward and how we're going to take this wonderful concept and make it very real in very small and digestible steps but pretty important steps. So this is the broad stroke plan so East Demit Curriculum Integration 2.0 may not have tremendous meaning to you, but what I did for our faculty and staff is articulate exactly what each year holds. And certainly that plan can be modified, it'll grow, it'll evolve as we try new things and, and technologies change and, and ideas get enhanced. But this was for this year, the 2018-19 school year. It all starts with curriculum articulation, at least it's done such a tremendous job of really focusing the efforts of our professional development on being able to adequately articulate and fully articulate a K-12 scope and sequence, all content areas. So I, I just take my hat off to what Lisa's been able to do in, in her leadership. Um, we're going to continue to work with our consultants. We're going to continue to provide students with more eSteam experiences. Uh, social emotional learning is a big part of what we're doing here and we're looking at some programs that we're uh, infusing into each of our schools and building on those and we've put in a Husker discovery course, an East Dean discovery course at Yorktown High School. We're exploring even more courses for the coming school year. We've put in some new East Dean opportunities at the middle school level. We're looking to introduce coding at, uh, a little earlier in sixth grade. Uh, FLL, we're starting an FLL team at the middle school, which is new for us. We're thinking about uh, the opportunities that that will bring in the grade levels prior to the middle school as well. We're going to be hosting another tournament. Uh, we're, thanks to a generous grant, we'll be infusing over a dozen 3D printers into the district. Uh, and also, what's not on here, are a couple of engraving milling machines, which is really exciting work for us. And some other curriculum supplies and materials that we'll be infusing. So there's a very strategic approach that we're taking to this and this doesn't even highlight all of the details that we're going to be working on certainly behind the scenes but i wanted to try to keep the presentation uh, to, as brief as i could just some upcoming events i really encourage our parent community to become involved and get more involved and attend as many things as you can there are so many wonderful things that are happening here and, and we're busy and I, I understand that but there are so many wonderful things that are happening the first start with our back to school night some have already been held uh, the first at Mohansic and uh, Brookside have been held, and certainly where Kent High School was last week, but there are some other opportunities as well. We have Spirit Week this week, which is exciting. Our homecoming weekend, where we're playing Somers, we're anticipating a really large crowd at uh, Friday night's football game, and so I encourage you to come out and just be a part of it. 
it is going to be a great school year. I can tell you that there's just a bounce in the buildings. There's a buzz in our schools and you can feel it. it it's hard to describe, it's hard to articulate it. You can only feel it. And as you walk through the buildings, you certainly feel that buzz and that excitement that something really special is happening in our buildings. And so with that said, our all-in journey has begun and it continues. So I will head over there and I'm happy to take questions at that point. Thank you. I was fortunate enough to be at opening day and at John, Paul, John Paul Gonzalez's uh, <coughs> the day he came in and spoke, and it was truly a wonderful thing. So yes, I think we're all in. <laughs> We've been all in for a lot of years, yep. I think. Yep. But thank you. Have any questions? Lisa? Carol? No. Freshman? Mike? Anthony? So, and everything continue like the writing center is opened up mm -hmm. bigger or just the same? or. Did it move the writing center or is it the same place? So we did move the space for the writing center and we have involved, we have involved teachers of social studies within the writing center as well. So it's moved beyond just English. So we're supporting students across curricular within the writing center. So the writing center works where kids just can pop in or they have to make an appointment. I don't know how it works. So they can pop in. Right. Sometimes they know when a particular teacher is assigned to the writing center, so they'll arrange ahead of time to go in at that time for a particular teacher if that's uh, what they're interested in. But it is staffed all, all and day. And it's open to seniors for essays for college and mm -hmm. that, that's the thing. Well, thanks for the ships. I know it was for the athletes and they were given it, but if it's taking off, is there any um, thought of doing it for the other students or giving them some sort of an all in? Yes. Uh, yes, so we've had that conversation. The planning for this year continues. We've actually sent chips over to all the schools as well, the faculty. And so the conversation continues, but it's at what age is the right age to give a poker chip to a child? I was just saying, the high school, yes, athletes yeah. already have to look at the other students. Yes, that conversation continues as well. Right. We'll it and brought it. Sure. Right, thank you. Great opening. Thank you very much. Okay. We're going to move on to board action items. We have the treasurer's report. A motion to approve the treasurer's reports for July and August of 2018. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Policy. We have adoptions of the following policies. A motion to approve the second reading and the adoption of the following policies. We have 4321.4R, which is the regulation for independent, um, the IE regulation. We have 4321.8, the impartial hearing officer. 5320 student conduct on school buses and 5422 uh, R, which is the lice regulation policy. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, deletion. I'm going to be resolved that the following policies and exhibits shall be deleted from the policy manual because they are either obsolete, unnecessary, or included within other policies. So the following three policies? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And then we have first reads. We were busy this week. <laughs> we have first reads on the following policies and regulations. We have 5405 regulation for student wellness, 6700 purchasing and its regulations, 7100 facilities planning, 7465 construction safety, uh, 7500 naming school facilities, 7600 damage to school property, and 9130 sexual harassment of employees. Did anybody have any questions or comments on any of them? Um, I just so you know, like you see purchasing, you're going to see it come up over and over again because we're required to go through it at least once a year. So some of these, and, and Tom's being very diligent, but there's a change, he's coming back to us to change it. So some of these you will see more often than others. All right, personnel. Be it resolved, the Board of Education hereby terminates the employee, employment of employee 4726, a maintenance mechanic carpenter, effective September 18, 2018, in accordance with the provisions of Section 71 of the Civil Service Law, with the opportunity to be reinstated to the same or a similar position if a vacancy exists upon making application, therefore, within one year after termination of the disability. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? rest of the personnel agenda. Well, upon recommendation of the superintendent, a motion that the following be approved. We have some corrections to certified personnel. We have part-time and temporary appointments, teaching assistant change in hours, additions to the substitute list, teaching stipends. 
We have other compensation, which is extra duty. We have coaches and co-curricular for the 18-19 school year appointments, stipends, and volunteer appointments. We have two resignations, and we have a removal from the substitute list. And then under classified personnel, we have appointment to civil service. We have additional 18-19 police officer monitors and addition, additions to substitute list and resignation. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Placements. Uh, a motion to arrange the following special ed placements as of September 17, 2018. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And we have gifts, grants, and donations. A motion to accept with gratitude the following gifts, grants, and donations. For each of Crom Pond, Mohan Mohansic, and Brookside School, there is a $25 BJ's gift card from BJ's Wholesale Club. So All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Board comments. Go ahead, Anthony. Okay, You're cool. All right. Mike? Oh, okay. Freshman? I'm good, thanks. Hi, just a quick um, comment about the all in. Um, a lot of times with motivational speakers, the excitement is very high in the beginning and you notice it start to dwindle, um, which is normal. But what I noticed about the wall in movement was that the excitement is still there. I see it very active on Twitter, so and it's, it's nice to see a lot of our staff is tweeting now on Twitter because you can get a feel for what's going on and a lot of it revolves around being all in. So that's really exciting to see um, and I also, it's funny because the other day I was cleaning my son's room and I went over and I saw the poker chip and at first I was wondering what's going on. It was on his nightstand. And I said, what's that poker chip? And then all of a sudden it clicked and he has it right next to his bed. So I know something's going on there. So I just wanted to make that comment because I think it was a really, really valuable program and I really appreciate the fact that it came to uh, Yorktown. So it was impactful. single day and we have custodians in buildings that are not air conditioned and student workers and everybody puts in, they're all in, they put in 110% every single day so we really appreciate it because our buildings wouldn't look the way they would, they do and the work wouldn't be ready for the beginning of the year for all the teachers and everybody wants to do everything so we appreciate everything you do. All right, we are up to public comment. Anybody wishing to speak? No. Um, I'm going to, it's, put a, Ask for a motion to go into executive session um, for the matters of the employment history of a particular individual contractual negotiations without any intent to uh, come back into public session. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you all. Good night.